Well, hello everyone, and here with another LEGO Star Wars review for Throwback Thursday, and today of which it is on the ARC-170 Fighter from 2005. So, on the front of the booklet here, see the LEGO logo, Star Wars logo, and the, like, cool Revenge of the Sith Mustafar border and picture of the set in action above Coruscant, and the uh, set number is 7259, and, yeah. and on the back, how to win on the online survey, or I mean, uh, for the video game, sorry, the video game from the time, and add for Lego Club and Shop at Home, and then add for the 2005 Revenge of the Sith Wave, and then a couple of kind of crazy alternate builds that they, and of course this is probably about time when they stopped doing so. Probably until like 2006 and 7 is when they stop, and yeah. And the features of it, and the last steps. So, first of all, for the figs, which is... Is who you get three of in this set, and it is one of the ARC-170 uh, clone trooper pilots, of course as the, the front torso print kind of well holds up and back torso print well holds up to modern figures and also the helmet print of which quite similar to most other uh, clone trooper figures from this time and when you take it off it's plain black minifig head and you can and it's kind of look through it which they kind of saved with the recent Knights of Ren figures so it's kind of interesting for the time, but not at all any like print to it, but it's forgiven for the time. Okay. And last up, and also get uh, some astronaut droid. Uh, I forgot, I don't know, remember the name of this one. If you know the name of this foul droid, tell in the comments. But anyway. Same kind of pieces as with R2-D2 with some red prints all over. The print of which looks good and kind of similar to the original 1999 R2-D2. But at least it's kind of workable. Well, a bit of a sign of the times and yeah. And that's about it with that. To the ARC-170 fighter itself. Oh, it's uh, pretty cool for the time. So at its price point, $40 at the time. So this is quite large for 40 so a little bit of a sign of the times where, you know, something at that price point could get you a big cool set. So it, but, or with inflation, probably puts it at like 50 to 60 of it, which of course was the price of the second version in 2010, but as for the front area, which has good use of the like, uh, curved pieces and some uh, plates acting for detailing and such, but as for the top area, which does have another plate but with a print on it in the green color matching with the green plates along as well as the front cockpit you have to detach oh whoops parts kind of fall off this kind of easily since of course lego wasn't much up to date but aside from that enough space to fit your clone pilot onto it but make sure that it but make sure the cockpit of which is put in like in like that. But as for the middle area of the vehicle, which has two other pilots and has a couple of the other large slope pieces, but ones that are clear and have some neat prints to them. But these cockpits, so which do fold in and out, but the sides also fold in and out, so you can access your pilots easily and also the yellow jumpers of which are to fit your uh, asteroid droid onto it and don't know if you can notice but do have a couple of jagged slopes that have 
So I'm like aim onto them to a droid tri fire of course. And fit like so. But as for the back area, there's a couple of large slopes with some prints to them and the back part that is rotatable, of course. As with a trans blue cone. But as for the main engines of this ship is it's comprised of a few uh, cylinder pieces and uh, astromech droid bodies it's, and then with the large wheels and Technic Roborider wheels acting as engines so probably one of the only times they've ever reused these pieces same with the head pieces in the 2005 Bonacle line as well but, but they, as you saw they were also used on the alternate builds but as actual wheels but the wings of which also do have this one of the nice uh, printed uh, plate piece, round pl tile pieces and at the very end a couple of jagged slopes and some rods and the old style lances acting as blasters to them so one of the features of this set oh whoops sorry some of it kind of falls off a little easily, unless if you were quite careful and got some jagged slopes underneath it. As for one of the main features is if you pull the, this gear behind and it drops a couple of blue cylinders out, acting as a bombing feature. And to reload it, all you do is just drop it into that little vent right there. Okay. And for the actual main feature is if you turn the gear in that same gear is you can like is it's kind of a slow process but it folds the wings right out without them popping off of course. So now with the wings act now fully extended out with those white rubber bands to hold them down. You can see looking pretty cool. Especially from all kinds of angles. Well, from this kind of angle, not so much from this kind of one. Actually also quite good too. Do have a couple gears exposed right there, and a red Technic ball with joints in there to make it run smoothly, of course. And so now on to the final verdict on this set. Overall, this is which a pretty cool set for 2005, of course. At least quite large for the price point, and like you got plenty of, of what the money's worth. Unless it was like the remake version, which in 2010, which did have a better selection of minifigs, and well, that one's forgiven. This one is too. But if at least if you have that version, this is kind of nice to add on to it, to like add to your fleet of Arc 170s. And if you still have this set from back in the day, well, I hope you had some good memories of it and. For those who haven't and still have access to this set, I'd say go ahead and get it. Like eBay, BrickLink, whatever. And that's about it with this video, and thanks for watching.